Hi, and uh, thanks for tuning in. I'm Sam from Labour Outlook, and today I'm talking with Daisy Carter about the upcoming Young Labour National Committee elections. Um, Daisy's re-standing as the committee's Southwest representative on the Socialist Future Slate. Uh, hello, Daisy. Hi, thank you for having me. Yeah, it's great to have you with us. Um, so, first question, uh, why are these elections so important, and what's at stake, and who's up for election as well? So, the upcoming elections, we're having the whole um, Young Labour National Committee elected, obviously, as well as the NEC elections that we've got. Um, so this means we will be electing young people, all members under 27, will be electing um, a chair in international sir, regional representatives and liberation um, positions on the National Committee. This is a... Um, kind of, you'll be electing everyone for a two-year term. Um, so these will be the people that represent you until um, kind of 2024. I mean, over the last couple of years, it's obviously been a really difficult time for many people, um, particularly like socialists and the Labour Party. And I'm really proud of what the last Young Labour Committee has managed to, to achieve. Um, I think like there's been a lot of barriers put up, um, obviously not even going into like what's happened with COVID, but the general situation in the Labour Party. Um, and I think the current committee and particularly our outgoing chair, Jess, has remained like a kind of beacon of hope for a lot of people um, in the party and kind of shown that you it is possible to like stand up for socialist values, um, to stand up for fairness, to stand up for like anti-imperialism, support workers. Um, and it is possible to hold those positions in the Labour Party and kind of provide a space for um, socialist members in the party. I think um, Young Labour particularly plays a really important role because we are a lot of people's kind of first um, uh, first experience in, in socialist politics, first experience in the Labour Party. Um, I know when I joined, um, it was a lot of like comrades in Young Labour who I met and kind of really like influenced my politics today. So I think having a space where people are able to um, express socialist ideas, but also just develop their politics in a really like safe, accessible space um, is really, really crucial. Because I think in terms of the reason these elections are so, so important for us is as the socialist future slate is that we are kind of at a crossroads at the moment, like Young Labour is, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, like currently the only place, the only national um, body in the Labour Party that does have a socialist majority and does have a left majority. Um, and I think it's really, really promising that young members turned out in 2020 to elect this committee. Um, and we were really clear about what we stood for when we were standing for election. And really clear about what we wanted so I think the fact that we were kind of given such a big vote of confidence in 2020 um, just shows that there still is that appetite for socialism in young people in the Labour Party and we have a duty to represent young people's views to the party itself um, I think so obviously this at the last conference we're able to put forward our like motion on Palestine um, which was passed by conference and I think the party is in danger of and, and is actually has been alienating young people, alienating young voters with a bit of a lack of policy, a bit of a kind of half-hearted approach to a lot of things. And I think it's our duty if we believe that the Labour Party is in any way viable to actually be able to represent what young people in this country believe. And, and, and I think we can like put forward those positions to the party and like ensure that the party is going to provide uh, an alternative that is actually like seriously going to support our futures rather than just kind of tinkering around the edges. Yeah, that kind of segues quite nicely onto uh, my next question. Although before we move on, I should also say we're, we're big fans of Jess Ballard too in our, <laughs> our Labour Outlook and are certainly supporting her bids to be on the National Executive Committee. Um, but yeah, in terms of kind of leading on from what you've just said, um, Maybe you could talk a little bit more about what the Socialist Future Slate stands for and what kind of direction do you want to take um, Young Labour in? We want Young Labour to remain a socialist part of the party. Like we, 
um, you know, kind of take really, really strong lines on anti-imperialism, on anti-racism, um, on kind of transphobia within the party. Um, we've kind of taken really strong lines on making sure we kind of only support candidates that back worker struggles, like refuse to cross picket lines, kind of those are our politics. Um, I think in terms of like what direction we want to take Young Labour, we want Young Labour to be an organising force. And I think not just in the party, but outside the party as well. Like we've got a really, really strong slate of candidates that have all got like so much experience, not only within the party, but also on their campuses, in their communities, in their workplaces. The last couple of years with COVID have been really difficult um, because we and and with everything going on in the party we've kind of struggled to do as much organizing as we would like and we want to be develop young members with those capacities so make sure we're a space where we can train young members offer education um support young members getting into their unions and organizing their workplaces support people organizing on their campuses you know, not just university campuses, people organising in like further education colleges, obviously something that's like massively underrepresented in the Labour Party at the moment, um, you know, helping people support community campaigns, rent strikes, tenants unions, climate, you know, climate organising. I think we want to be an active force um, want to be leading on campaigns campaigns that our members have experienced with already and campaigns that our members really support yeah so kind of really integrating kind of young labor not only in the party but in kind of activism in the student movement and in communities as well that sounds really exciting um so yeah final question um who's eligible to vote in this election and what can they do to get involved in the campaign for the left slate and um yeah and get involved in young labor Okay, so in this election, every Labour Party member between the ages of 14 and 26, inclusive, um, are eligible to vote. So everyone is eligible to vote for national positions. So that is the chair um, and international officer of Young Labour. Um, you will also be able, eligible to vote for a regional representative and then... Um, if you are registered with the party as disabled, um, as BAME, as LGBT or as a woman, then you're el eligible to vote for the liberation positions. That's Obviously, I've talked a lot about the Young Labour elections, but I think the Labour students elections is the most exciting thing we've got coming up at the moment because our current reps, Fraser and Nabila, so Fraser's running for the chair and uh, Nabila's running for chair of Young Labour have worked so, so hard to get this new student structure approved by the NEC. Um, and it's the first time that all young student members of the party will have a chance to vote for those representatives. So kind of that's the most important thing coming up. But to vote in those elections, you do need to make sure you're registered with the party as a student. OK, well, uh, listen, Daisy, thanks so much for joining me today. Uh, it was a real pleasure to talk to you. Make sure if you're watching this that you get registered by the deadline and, um, uh, and, that, and that you're supporting the slate. Tune in again for more content from Labour Outlook and check us out regularly on the website.